hello hello so today we are knotting this beautiful bracelet the pattern for it will be in the description and you may recognize it from one of my stay at home challenges um, I think it was challenge six that I put this in I'm currently making a collection out of these I've already done one in gray and salmon there's another one that's like in pink and teal and this one as you can see is sort of brown and green and I really like how this is turning out so I thought I would jump on video and record myself while I'm doing it you guys seem to enjoy these real-time knotting videos quite a bit when it's just like me talking to you guys about something and I enjoy them a lot as well so I thought I would do one today. <laughs> I take it as just an opportunity to really, you know, just chat with you guys a little bit, maybe update you on what's going on with my life, vent about some problems I guess. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do today. I really like how this bracelet is turning out. I did a teardrop loop at the start but instead of just doing a teardrop loop, um, from this side, I did it from the other side, and then I flipped the bracelet so you can't see the knots of the teardrop loop, they're on the other side. But I think that turned out pretty cool. I've been doing the same sort of uh, technique with triangle ends that I do. Uh, specific, more specifically triangle ends, like after a loop. I usually just do them on the same side, but recently I've been trying to do them uh, on one side and then flip the bracelet to start it so the knots turn out on the other way. So the knots come out on the other side. And I think that that gives it kind of a unique look, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, what's been going on in my life? Not much, really. <laughs> Not much. My flights keep getting cancelled. I spoke about this in the last real-time nodding video. Um, I think since then, my flight was cancelled once or twice. I don't remember now. I've honestly just lost track. My flights just keep getting cancelled. <laughs> and I've been trying to get back to London. But it's just not happening for me. And we'll see when I finally do make it back. The fact that I'm here sort of indefinitely has been putting a little bit of pressure on my brain. <laughs> I don't like the fact that it's indefinite. If it was more of a defined situation, I feel like I would have been able to enjoy my time here more. But the fact that I feel like I'm stuck um, doesn't really help. But it's fine. I've sort of gotten used to it by now, I think. Um, I currently have a flight for like mid-July booked. Uh, I'm assuming that's also going to get cancelled. I don't know if I'm ever... Uh, well, ever. I don't know if I'm going to get back to London until maybe like September. I don't know. Um, but if that does get cancelled, I might actually go visit um, my other grandma who lives in a different city in Russia because um, in Russia quarantine has pretty much been lifted and uh, we can go anywhere, do anything we want essentially and um, I'm thinking of doing that, yeah, going to visit my grandma who lives in a different city if um, my flight does get cancelled because then I'll have some extra time. As for like other stuff that's been going on, um, if you follow me for a while you might know that uh, I have two cats. Well, not me, I don't actually have two cats. Um, but I'm staying right now in my husband's family country house and they have two cats here. And so we've been taking care of them and um, we recently got both of them spayed. They're both girls, uh, one of them is a uh, one year old baby and the other one is two. And we recently got them, um, took them to the vet, got them spayed. So they're sort of recovering from that surgery at the moment. And um, as long as you go, some of you go, ah, I can't speak. Some of you guys have been asking me how they're doing, and they're doing well, thank you. Because um, I post them about them on my Instagram story quite a lot, because I love them a lot. Um, yeah, they've been, they've been doing well. There's a mosquito right here. Go away. Go away, go away. Oh my god, I hate the summer for this reason. <laughs> I love summer, but I hate bugs. Ugh. Um, it's like 30 degrees Celsius outside here right now, and I'm wearing a hoodie because I don't want bugs to bite me. So yeah, that's that's fun. That's very fun. At least I'm in the shade, so it's not actually that hot. Uh, but yeah, we got them spayed, and they've been doing well. Um, the first couple of days, they were kind of just sleeping mostly. I've got cat hair all over me. <laughs> but right now they've been uh, much more active and uh, they've been doing good. They've been doing good. So that's really awesome to see. Um, I've also been posting a lot to my Instagram recently because I've been making a lot of bracelets since I um, stopped working on my dissertation because I submitted it. Um, which, by the way, I got the grade back yesterday and I did really well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I started making more bracelets recently and I've been posting more to Instagram. I've actually been posting every day for I think the past week, two weeks, I'm not sure. Um, and my Instagram has basically turned into basically plants. Uh, there's a lot of different flowers and just trees and everything because uh, summer <laughs> and because I'm in the countryside I am able to go out and take picture and different take pictures on different plants and uh, flowers. 
Most of them are my mother-in-law's flowers. She plants a lot because um, she really enjoys flowers. And so I've been sending those pictures to her as well because she's not able to visit at the moment. Um, well, because of some reasons, she's not able to uh, come to the country house as much as she would like to. So I've been sending her those pictures to uh, have her just like look at her beautiful flowers. And also I take special pictures of flowers for her, not with my bracelets in them. But yeah. I've recently started streaming more as well. Um, I mean, I always sort of streamed on Instagram. Um, well, not always, but like ever since I really began uh, getting an audience, I started streaming on Instagram every once in a while uh, to just like chat and connect with you guys. Uh, but I recently started streaming on YouTube and I found that to be really fun as well because um, it allowed for like a more long format stream where I could talk to more of you uh, for a longer time. But I've now merged to Twitch. Um, I've had my first stream on Twitch yesterday and that was really fun. Uh, yesterday we looked through uh, some uh, bracelet patterns. Um, as, as you may know I'm a moderator on Bracelet Book and uh, on stream we decided that we we're gonna moderate live and the chat helped me make decisions in some cases and it was really fun. I helped you guys sort of gain an insight I guess into what moderation looks like on Bracelet Book and uh, maybe some reasons that moderators accept or decline patterns on photos as well. We looked through some photos. And some of you guys um, that joined me on stream, uh, I actually accepted some of your variations and patterns, I think. Uh, so that was pretty fun. But yeah, I'm really enjoying streaming. I've been streaming for the past, I think, three or four days uh, consecutively, and I've been really, really enjoying it. So I think I'm going to actually do that as a more consistent thing. Um, and I really enjoyed Twitch. I think Twitch is much better than YouTube in terms of streaming because uh, there's just so much more functionality um, and um, I feel like there's a lot that we can do. I have many ideas for different streams. I might actually stream uh, today after I post this video uh, and today I want to um, go through my followers to do's on bracelet book so anyone who does show up on stream uh, I'll take some names and I'll just raid your to do's and grab some uh, patterns for myself <laughs> because I'm kind of running low on patterns to be honest so I'm thinking of doing that but yeah I've just genuinely been really enjoying uh, talking to you guys on stream connecting with you guys like that because filming videos is just a really weird experience because it feels kind of isolating you're just alone like right now I'm just sitting in the garden talking to a camera and I know that you guys are listening but it takes a while for you guys to uh, respond because by the time I film by the time I edit by the time I upload by the time you guys get the chance to watch and then formulate like an opinion or whatever and comment it takes a while so streaming is definitely more fun in the sense that you get um, instant feedback and an instant connection and you also get to see like your favorite streamer I guess in a different light um, just more real I guess in the moment so yeah I've definitely been enjoying it I feel like I'm gonna continue doing it um, more and more I have many many ideas for what we can do together and uh, like play different games and stuff so yeah it's been fun uh, if you want to check it out there's be there's gonna be a link to uh, my twitch in the description um, and some of you asked me what Twitch even is because you don't know. Uh, Twitch is basically just like a video service like YouTube where YouTube mostly hosts uh, just videos. Uh, Twitch is specifically designed for live streaming um, and uh, yeah you, you don't need an account to watch you just click the link and watch whenever someone is live but if you want to comment or follow or subscribe um, then you do need an account but you don't need one to watch. And yeah, I definitely recommend giving Twitch a chance. Uh, apparently, um, oh, the string got stuck. Ah, there you go. Apparently, uh, like uh, most of you guys who were on stream yesterday created your accounts specifically for the stream, which I felt very, very special about. Um, and I hope I made it worth it for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a chance. I think it's a great platform and we can do some really cool things. Uh, but that being said, I'm not gonna just like stop making YouTube videos. That's not what this is about. It's just um, an additional way to connect with you guys, if that makes sense. I just wanna, I just wanna chat. I just wanna hang out. I just wanna chat. <laughs> 
but yeah the videos are definitely coming uh, I have a wrap-up video coming really soon um, as if you've been following me for a couple months you know that I used to do wrap-up videos at the end of every month showcasing what bracelets I made in that month uh, but in the past couple of months I didn't do that because I was so busy with coursework and dissertations that I wasn't actually making any bracelets so I literally didn't even have anything to show you in the wrap-up uh, but in June I've made quite a lot so I have some bracelets to show and it's gonna be fun um, I need to film that in the next couple of days because the month is coming to an end and um, yeah I think that that's gonna be super exciting and super fun for you guys uh, well for me to show you but for you guys as well I feel like you guys really like the wrap-up videos because you get to see uh, different patterns especially if you don't follow me on Instagram because uh, I share them on Instagram before I share them in a wrap-up but um, if you don't follow me then you don't get to see them there and um, I, I know that a lot of you guys get like inspiration from different patterns that I show you in my wrap-ups so I'm really excited to resume those back up they seem really fun those are really fun ah my nose has been itching throughout this entire video it's so annoying I think there's still something in the air that's producing pollen that's still getting me to feel a little bit allergic I've sort of gotten, gotten over that the worst was in May I just kept sneezing all the time because everything was blooming and as, as beautiful as it was my nose does not appreciate that so it was kind of difficult for me to deal with um, but yeah I've, I've been much better but there's still something in the air that's making me tickle it's making my nose tickle but yeah I know that a lot of you guys enjoy these types of videos where we just like sit and chat because um, I know that you guys are probably making a bracelet while you're watching this not everyone but like a lot of people uh, like to put something on while they're making bracelets and I get comments a lot uh, on that kind of, uh, in that vein that you're making a bracelet while watching my videos um, and I like that I feel like I'm just like hanging out with you but streams are definitely more of a sort of hangout session I guess if you like these kinds of videos I think that you'll enjoy my streams as well where we just like sit and chat anyway I feel like this is just like self-promotion I'm not I don't mean it in that way I'm just really excited about it <laughs> I had a lot of fun uh, yesterday and the day before as well and I'm really excited about the stream that I'm gonna have uh, after I film and post, post this video, so I guess I'm just really excited and that's why I'm just talking about it. But yeah, I saw the um, Instagram community of bracelets sort of explode in um, peach patterns and pear patterns, like alpha patterns, um, where you've got like one type of fruit that repeats over and over again in the design. And I think that that's really cool and I want to make one like that. Um, but I need to go to Moscow to buy some strings because I only really, I have a lot of string, but I only really have like one string per color. And for an alpha, you need more than one, uh, one string per color. Not one string per color, one like skein per color. And for alphas, you definitely need more string per color to be able to actually make it. <laughs> so I need to um, go to Moscow and buy some string specifically for an alpha that I want to make. Which I'm not used to. I'm not used to buying strings for a specific pattern. So that was kind of challenging for me to do the first time I did it. But it's fine. It went okay. Uh, so yeah, I need to go to Moscow and do that. But obviously I can't do that right now because I've got the cats to take care of. So I can't just like up and leave. But I'll figure something out. We've got a couple of days until we get the stitches out. Um, so then maybe after that I will be able to uh, go and buy some string. Because I've been wanting to make that sort of uh, repeating... Uh, what is it? Fruit or well, like berry pattern, I guess. I think they're really cute and I want to make one for sure. There's also a lot more alphas in my to-do list that I want to make. Um, I made a giant sloth pattern that was 52 strings wide that you'll see in my wrap up. Um, and I made that like on a wooden dowel and that was really fun. I want to make something big like that again because it's, it's a massive project and it took probably like, I don't know, 10 to 15 hours, probably like closer to 15. Uh, it was a massive project, but it was so fun and so rewarding. I definitely enjoyed that a lot So I want to make something big like that again, especially because I feel like I made some mistakes in that um, In the sense that the pattern sort of the bracelet all oh, the bracelet a bracelet is it? it's like a wall hanging thing Even though I'm not actually gonna put it on a wall anyway, uh, whatever I made that thing uh, It's shorter like it's thinner at the top and then it gets wider at the bottom which kind of annoyed me uh, but that's just that's my mistake, I didn't space out the strings uh, properly at the start and then I think that uh, the tension of my knots got looser by the end. So it's definitely something that um, I need to work on. 
But yeah, I have some patterns on my mind. I recently rewatched Avatar The Last Airbender and I cried like a baby. It's such a good show. I definitely recommend it to anybody who hasn't watched it. Even though I don't think those people exist because it's a really, really popular show. Um, but yeah, I rewatched that recently and I've been craving uh, to make an Avatar pattern. Um, and um, I actually asked about this on stream and one of you guys actually created a pattern for me. And that was, uh, that was really sweet of you. Um, and I want to make that, but I, again, need to buy some string for it specifically because I don't actually have um, enough blue um, to create that. It's basically a pattern of Aang sort of in the meditative state, uh, in the meditative position, but also in the avatar state. So his tattoos are glowing and I need like different shades of blue for that because his tattoos are blue. Um, but I think that would be a really fun project to make and I'm super excited to do that. Um, I think I'm going to do that like on a wooden dowel as well because it's a pretty big pattern, but I'm excited for that. I really want to make big patterns. I'm also uh, looking to make something... Uh, I have a couple of pictures from the series that I want to make um, alphas out of, but like one specific one is like a Zutara pattern. Um, it's basically the ship of Zuko and Katara, which I don't like actively support, but I just really like the picture and I like the idea of them together, uh, so I want to make that. But whatever. I guess those of you who don't watch Avatar are getting kind of bored of this conversation by now. Ooh, I've been recording for a while now. I think I should stop now. All right, well, thank you guys for coming to watch. I hope you enjoyed just like sitting and hanging out with me. Uh, once again, I am streaming today, probably. Um, once again, I'm going to be streaming right after this video is live. So if you want to come check me out on stream, there is a link in the description uh, for my Twitch channel. If you're not able to catch me live today, but you want to catch me live at some other point, I'm going to be streaming quite consistently in the near future. Uh, then you can also click that link and just follow me on there so you get a notification next time I am live. But that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. We're getting kind of close to 100k and that's a round number that is very appealing to me. And I know that around 70% of you aren't actually subscribed, so it would mean a lot to me if you considered doing that. Also, thank you very much to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. If, if you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive packs for your donations. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!